So, hello, 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 this is Maxter and welcome back to our Let's Play series of Yakuza. Um, we are in part number three, out of jail, probably with no money, I think 3,000 yen, and back in Yokohama. Um, don't know um, what the hell is going on, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Um, this guy's actually just realized that cell phones and smartphones are out, and uh, e-cigarettes are out as well. So... Ideally, he's trying to figure out what happened. We are in chapter two, a bloody reunion, um, and we are back in action actually, but apparently he's still, his brain is in 2000. We are in 2019 uh, already in the story, 18 years after uh, jail time. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it's a good deep story at, at, at the beginning and uh, with the Japanese style twist and everything. So it's good. It's heavy, heavy, heavy story driven. Um, RPG like uh, fights and everything is just changed from the last game to just uh, fight by turn and by selecting stuff and then hit and hope for the best, for the best number and then you win. Um, so we're going to continue doing the story and I hope you like it. If you do so, you know what to do. Just drop the likes and like the videos and also uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to turn the bell notification as well to let you know when I upload. Um, so that's it for now and let's let's keep continuing the story, which is awesome. But it's long, but it's awesome. It's going to be an awesome game. So um, let's keep doing this. Yeah, I didn't want to fight those guys, but yeah, they found me. So yeah, let's keep going on. By the way, this is this. Uh, I just noticed that this is the same map of the last one, the last video. So the last series actually of Yakuza. Um, it's exactly the same, same layout, same everything, including the Sega Park and in in the square. So probably it's a representation of Yokohama as it is. Um, so all good. This is it, isn't it? Hey, are you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? <laughs> office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar it was a computer store. Before that it was a maid cafe, and before that... A uh, Filipino bar, I think. But 18 years ago, a, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family? Don't you know what I'm talking about? A uh, family? Not a family, family. I... A Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. Uh, that's too far back even for my old bones. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? 
I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who does it. They're a huge, famous family. Really? Oh, finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. Ah, <sighs> not sure. In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where they're headquartered. She always knows what's going on. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Great. Everybody who knows... Everybody who do we know, actually, it doesn't exist anymore. And as you can see, actually, the English... Uh, sound it they're not present probably in, they're in just in Japanese but we can see the text can't wait to see them now but the problem is where do they go could have had to ask the old lady of the oh god oh god probably she's gone this is 20 years mate the old woman oh you mean the previous owner <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago probably taking it easy in an old folks home by now oh I see uh, hey do you know where the Arakawa family office is if, if you're not making a purchase I should help the customer behind you I just want to know where the Arakawa office is hey some of us got places to be in the usual Yes, here you are. 500 yen, please. Just put it on my tab. Wow. People sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn your manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? Oh, jeez. And you're walking around town wearing a Tojo badge? Oh, wait. It's Omi Alliance. So, you're in the know. What family are you from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are! You're lying out here with the Omi symbols, faking like you're Arakawa! Wait. You and that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Hmm? Oh, yeah, there was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the Patriarch and his officers go to stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, you must be newer than me. Tell me one thing. Who's our patriarch right now? Dude, you living under a rock? Just tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa, obviously. Man, you forgot the name of your patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. But you just said you were in the Arakawa family. Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? You sleep talking, dude? Do I look fucking asleep? No, you don't. You must be one of those Tojo pests still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate them on sight. You owe me are the ones who invaded. This city is Tojo turf. Not anymore. I do Tojo roaches need to die already! So, the old fool's helmet. The battle is on! Cool. Who's hanging? Check this out! Come on now! You could. Yeah. Check this out! Come on now! Do it. Ah! Did 
Kawasan really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! Uh, yes! Haniki! That guy's a Tojo loyalist! Get him! What? Get back here! Oh, Excuse me. Thanks. <sighs> See ya. Okay, as you can see, we are missing some English dialogue, actually. Probably we're in Japanese. Um, but I'm not going to switch it. So it's text for us for now.
Hey. Sup? You're strong. We're gonna remember your face, dick! I can tell you love your job, but you ought to love being alive more. Else who's gonna take care of that precious camera? A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist! <laughs> oh yeah! These picks are go for a fortune! <laughs> Thanks, Ichiban! Hey, hold up! It was your fault anyway. Come on, get out of here. If I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. Yeah, you better run, Kamulop. Kamulop? It's a local mascot they made to improve Kamurocho's image. What the hell is a local mascot? Uh, we're gonna be here all day. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family. And Arakawa-san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop! You gotta know what happened, being the local reporter. I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a traitor. It wasn't who he was! You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. Not a journalist for nothing. So tell me! When did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, the young master. It used to be my job to escort him. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Uh-huh. Uh, what do you mean, was? Is he better now? He's dead. What? When? How? Hmm. Huh. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. 
Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt, but... I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. You don't. Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. <sighs> Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became... watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. And you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. Huh? I promise, Kasuga! There's nothing left for you in Kamurocho! But... Th then where would I go? I mean... I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La. Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Don't do it! I'm telling you, they'll kill you! Kill me? <laughs> Let him try. It's trashed. 
Never thought I'd outlive Shangri-La. So, is this the last stop on your tour of Camarocho? <sighs> I knew you'd end up here eventually. You again? For real? Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamurocho, and here's this dark, rotting husk. What happened here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war, and some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Well, no one's come near it ever since. And now, it's a den for lowlifes and thugs. Real messed up dudes living there now. I see. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years really is. That's not the Kamurocho you remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamuro police station. Just one more set of prying eyes watching everything in this town. That's because of the 3K plan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally got built. That's why everybody loves our go-getter of a governor. The Kamuro police station is just one of his legacies. <laughs> well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Kasuga, I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before, the Tojo clan you know is gone. The Omi Alliance from Kansai invaded, and won. They rule this city now. <sighs> so, do you believe me now? Yes. Then we're making good time. Well, you came around faster than I thought. Huh? I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself, and everyone else be damned. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. You got there quick. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. <sighs> Look, man, once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? Arakawa, your former boss, used the police to crush the Tojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. So my theory is some of that money went directly to Juro Horinouchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah, and I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so have a lot of chances to get at him. But one chance I do have is if I go through Masumi Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa-san. Is that it? Congrats. You solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? But if you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now, hmm? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. Well, your information. Tonight, Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting with local patriarchs. Really? Not true? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. No, it's gonna be a show of arms. For Arakawa, it's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Check out that restaurant over there. Heian Tower. Oh, that's... um... Oh, have you been there? It's a pretty classy joint. 
Expensive as hell, though. No, I haven't gone. It's just... Arakawa-san uh, once promised to take me there. To eat Peking duck. Wait, I get it! This is Arakawa-san trying to contact me! Huh? Wait, what are you saying? It can't be a coincidence that the meeting is going down there! At a place that meant something to me and him! Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth, kid. There aren't many classy restaurants around here, period. Stands to reason he picked one of the only ones, hmm? Screw you! It doesn't even matter. What's important is, I can finally talk to him. Okay, first of all, the meeting isn't until tonight. And on top of that, the Omi know you're a Tojo loyalist. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Now luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Unless you wanted to bust through the front door like an idiot. Okay, what kind of plan? That's a surprise I'll save for later. Later? What, we're just gonna wait here till they show up? No, I'm sure you have shit to do, just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. Here, take this with you. What is this? A smartphone. I assume you've seen one before? Nah. How do you use it? Why do they make phones so damn complicated? You'll figure it out. Just make sure to pick up when I call you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> sure. Now you can select smartphone from the pause menu. This will allow you to check your emails, take pictures, and call a taxi. More smartphone functions will be added as you progress. <laughs> okay, so remember, we're meeting oh at this God, bar these Japanese square stories. Tonight. Till then, keep a low profile, will you? Sure, low profile. <laughs> They're bloody legends. I, I can I, I I can read manga actually every any single time. It's awesome stories for a laugh. It's adult comics actually. It's better than books. Okay, it's finally night. And we should be going there. And we shouldn't be seen. And we are level 5 so far, so all good. Fights, as I said, there are RPGs when you select your turn and then you select your skills or whatever you want to. Uh, smell trouble, trouble, blend, 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 blend. Blend. Not blend. <laughs> Fight. Cool. So, as, as I can see, actually. Um, you can go skills, tenacious fist on that guy, and it will blow up. And then it's their turn, so you receive whatever it is, and then you can attack again. He decided to to make a phone call instead of attacking, so but he, yeah. We can we can do another tenacious and he's done. He's level one, so should be alright. And that's how you do it. Level five already. And yeah, we are in encountering level one, twos, and up to four enemies. I guess it's going to be actually a little bit more complicated as we move on to the story. At the moment, the story is king, so we need to keep progressing that. So we can find out what the hell happened here after 18 years of being in jail. And everything changed. And as I said, I, I was remind me actually of anything that happened in the last game because the locations are roughly the same. Dachi-san's not even here. And I'm sure this is where we're supposed to meet. You really should just sell that business pronto. Don't be sad. I remember what I said? You deal with business the way you do with fish and women. Catch, then release. 
take pride in the catch, but then set them free. Any sporting fisherman could tell you that. Really? You want me back at the office? I hope you're joking. I pay you generously to deal with this nonsense. The whole idea behind bringing you on was so that I could enjoy my nights off. Ciao! Wow. Tip. Hey, sorry to bother you when you're busy. What? You seen a burly looking guy in a blue coat around here? A burly looking guy? Sorry, my friend. Myself, I only pay attention to the ladies. Sure, I guess. Why don't you simply call this person? Is his phone dead? Oh, that's right. He gave me a smartphone to call him on. Uh, wait. How do you call someone on this thing? There's no buttons. Oh, a bit behind the times, aren't you? Hey, here, allow me. You'll show me? I'll make you the smartest of smartphone users. Hey, there he is! You're not gonna weasel out of it this time, asshole. Shit, the Yomi found me. Huh? Nico got a you cravat wearing fuckwad. When are you gonna do right by us? And who are you, might I ask? You don't remember us? You sold us that shit property! Ah, that Yakuza, weren't you? The one who bought the deed for a most successful girls' bar. Successful, my ass! It barely makes any money! You need to make this right, you shyster! Ah, oh, now that is strange. It certainly had a high profit margin while I was running it. The joint's in the red every month! Girls keep quitting, not enough customers! I can't even pay the electric bill! <laughs> <laughs> I dare say you'll have to become better at managing a business. Fuck you say? Uh-uh. This is a crap business when you pawned it off on me. You better buy it back now! <laughs> you are a funny guy. Asshole. Do you even realize you're mocking the Omi Alliance? Give an arrest, you jerk. Say what? This guy was about to teach me to use a smartphone. I get you got business with him. Like, get in line. You get in line! Hey, wait just a second. That ugly red suit and that scruffy ass hair! Yeah? Remember what Anaki said? How there was a Tojo loyalist around here? Supposed to look just like this guy, down to the moppy hair! Sick asshole. Enough about my hair! Ah, so you're an aggressive type yourself, huh? Something like that. Why don't you stand back, Mr. What was it? Nico Gata. This is about to get ugly. I can see that. Will you be fine handling this by yourself? Hell yeah. And you can repay me in smartphone lessons. Sound good? <laughs> Very good. Quit your yapping. And if things get ugly, you got nobody to thank but your own hair. Here we go again. Oh, with knives. So selecting the one that has less. Oh, it's level two. Should be alright. Oh, you're level 5. No, level 2 is going down. And now we are warrior level 5. 16. Same thing. Ouch. Again. Eight, probably another one. Yep. <laughs> that looks painful. So, in all honesty, did you sell them a crappy business or not? I certainly did not. It was raking in millions of yen each month at the time of sale. A wonderful little property. If that's true, why'd you offload it? The riffraff you just beat down were insisting on protection money. <laughs> I didn't want their protection. We were only asking for a measly hundred thou a month, man. You wouldn't even make a dent in what you were pulling in. Yes, I recall it being something like that. So you know what I told them? 
If you think it's so easy, why don't you try running it? And you sold it to him just to make a point? You bet I did. I, I mean, can you believe their arrogance? A measly hundred thou? I have a number of businesses, and yes, they do bring in hundreds of millions of yen per month. But the reason for that is I know the value of money. It's very difficult for a small business to make a hundred thou. Ah, so you wanted them to learn just how much work goes into it. Exactly! And I believe now they have definitely learned. Businesses are like women. You think having one will be so glamorous, but there's some upkeep involved. You need strategy, you need passion, and you need to work your ass off to make her happy. So, are you gonna do what it takes to make that bar successful? Fuck that! I'm done sinking money into that bottomless pit! Fine. I'll buy it back from you. But for half of what you paid me. Fuck you! But fine, take it! I don't care anymore! <sighs> I don't believe I caught your name. Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Ichiban? <laughs> that means number one, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a lot to live up to, but you certainly did that tonight. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. And, uh, speaking of help... Yes, you want to learn how to work a smartphone, correct? <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. Let's get to it. Where's your phone? Wow, I actually feel like I can make use of this thing now. Thanks, Nick. You're welcome. Mayhaps we should keep in touch. When I meet interesting people, I like to think there's a reason why. We can be pen pals. Ah, uh, if you want. But I got kind of a history, in case you couldn't tell. I got out of prison today. <laughs> that, that sort of thing doesn't bother me. Well, you should probably know. I was charged with murder. Is that so? Oh, my. You are interesting. <laughs> and rather blunt, too. You've got more honesty than sense. But I like that. Oh, yeah? You might say I associate with people who have... Well, all kinds of baggage. Many of them are caring much more than you. No kidding. I'm starting to think you're shadier than the guys I knew in prison. <laughs> Bad news for me, if that's what a felon thinks. One point for Mr. Number One. Guess so. Well, see you around, Ichiban. You're not gonna just randomly call me or anything, are you? I just might. You'll find me to be a very persistent man. Hey there, Kasuga. Who is that guy? Well, my first pen pal, I guess. Huh? Hey, what took you so long anyway, man? You're the one who set this whole thing up. Oh, I was hungry, so I went and got a beef ball. I ordered an extra large one, and... Ooh, it was a struggle. <laughs> guess I'm getting old. Aren't we all? Well, here I am, about to sneak into a high-level Omi meeting. Yeah. Well... Hope you're ready.
Good. Yo. Okay. Okay. For real? Hmm? Yeah. up. <laughs> Yo. Will this place even take us anywhere? Yeah, should lead us straight to our building. Careful though, never know what kind of lunatics you'll run into.
Oh, good. Okay, here we go again. Three. Level six. Cool. No, level four first. Defeated. 
That was not good. Uh, we're losing a lot of HP. I wonder if you're doing something wrong. Not bad. So good. It works. Well, we might need to start using these things. Mysterious leaf. Yeah, nothing here. We came from there. So the only way is finding whatever is up here. Oh, there's something there. You need to go and check it out. Ah, level four. Skills. Oh, I can use them. Yeah. Takes usually two of that. Observing. You want to go? I'm up. I cannot use it, but usually with two attacks, it. should be alright. Nice. Run it up, and we said that in here there is something. Oh, there are three guys and three guys over there. We might need to do it. Level four and two level fives. Level four first. Ow. Yes. And ow. Uh, a bit down. Let's go to you. What's up with that? Yeah. And you may need to I can't yet. I'm up. Skills. Go in it. I got this. What is up? Now. Ow. Take your best shot. Still it. Beat down by that guy. Let's go. Earning some XP. Still, I'm getting this kind of things. I'm gonna check them out. Mushrooms. Items. Mysterious ingredient. Recover 50 and recover 10 MP. Okay. Still these two guys. Look at me go! Uh, 
We saw something in this side. Yep. But over there, a hardball. What the hell is a hardball? Items. A kit. An offensive item deals blunt damage to the enemy it was used. Okay, so just throw it out. Okay. What else do we have here? I think there are more guys there. We are level 6 and level 5. We should be alright here. Let's do it! Oh, level six. Cool. And level six. I'm gonna deal with that first. I'm up. I got this. Level five second. Now, Let's do you first? Go Sit down. Let's go. Sit down. And now we have to deal with this guy. and recover is probably to recover these are completely free that's what we wanted save points okay so first thing first recover and second of all save Save is complete and shiny things. Dirty. And we're ready for probably a stage two. Hey, it's safe to assume that the Omni Ally security will be tighter from here. We won't be able to turn back. Are you ready for this? Uh, sure. Let's keep going. So my guess is the the fights are going to get tougher and tougher. So we need to start making some good decisions moving forward. We know that we hit around 50 points or something like that. Um, but at level 5 and level 6, hey, I don't think do we can deal with here? level 10s at the moment. Okay. Security. I guess it's gonna be seven. Now nah, level six and level four. So um start with you. It's halfway. That means that we can deal with that. Oops. We're in bad position now. They hit hard. I think a simple attack will do. Take your best shot. 
Uh, and these two are security six, so heavy hitters. Now we're gonna get hit. Uh, ouch. Ow. I think you. Let's finish her up. So we have only one to go. I got this. Let's go. We are only one shot. And obviously, it's me. Come on now. Check this out. Okay, down. But but look at the health. We're not getting anything, so... Yo. Yeah, we're losing a lot of health. Um... But yeah, we're here already, so we need to. Hey, there's no Chinese restaurant here. Where the, the hell it go? Ah, quit jabbering and get your ass upstairs. lucky that was lucky hey Katsuga this way damn I just keep coming guess we ought to take a leap of faith oh god what There's 113. Um, Ready when you no. <laughs> Hang on, guy. You need Not to be bad. recovering a little bit before we enter into something. <laughs> Japanese style. With three. Oh, four. Uh, oh, level sevens. Oh, those are hard. Hard, hard, hard. Time 
We need to get rid of one pretty quickly. Ah, not enough. Eight, eight, tens. Tens. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Recovery status is horrible on that guy. Why? Oh, thank you. Bleeding. How do I stop the bleeding? Etc. Items. Uh, legendary. No. Uh, tuna. On a giddy. On you. It has to be you. Has to be you. No! I'm already cut! Let's go! How do I stop the bleeding? I hope you like it, um, and as I said, um, if you do so, just let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and support all the efforts that we're doing to portray actually video games in YouTube. Um, appreciate for that, and I'll see you in the next one. So that's all for now. Cheers.